sisters, I believe you are all well wherever you are. Praise the name of the living God. And so welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Angelica Angelic. And uh, I would love to take this opportunity to welcome you to this YouTube channel so that we can learn something together. Hallelujah. So today I want to talk about uh, certain patterns in our families certain patterns that uh, we might keep on seeing, repeating themselves in our families, and then we fail to take action. Do know that it is very, very dangerous for you to fail to take action when you notice or you realize that there is a certain pattern that keeps on repeating itself in your family, in your bloodline, in your life, and then you fail to take action. Anytime you see something unusual in your life, or something unusual in your family, something unusual in your generation, you need to take action, pray against it, and cancel it. And by the grace of God, the Lord will help you. And so today I want to talk about um, the story of Jacob. All of us, we know about the story of Jacob. And uh, the, I normally tell you that life is spiritual. Whatever happens during the times of Jacob, whatever happens between Jacob and Esau, it was something that the Lord planned already. The Bible tells us very well that uh, when Rebekah was pregnant and uh, the children were fighting in her womb, and then Rebekah went to inquire of the Lord and to pray and ask God what was happening within her. And the Lord told her, that two nations will come out of you and one nation will be stronger than the other and the, the 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 older nation will serve the younger nation and now rebecca had the secret already she knew what will happen because the bible says very well that she went and prayed she asked and inquired of the lord what is happening and the lord told her so that is when it came to pass that uh, Jacob, the Bible said that when, 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 when they were being born and Esau was born first and Jacob came immediately after Esau. And the Bible tells us very well, we know how it happened. And Jacob took the birthright of Esau in terms of giving him some food. And after that, Jacob proceeds and took away the blessings of Esau. It was not, it did just begin from the blessings, but it began even before they were born. Because the Lord said very well that the older nation will serve the younger nation. And so <clears throat> Jacob went ahead and took the blessings of Esau. And uh, we all know about that. When uh, Isaac blessed Jacob instead of Esau. And so it didn't end there. The Bible said that after Jacob took the blessings of Esau, he ran away. He fled and went to his uncle Laban. And when Jacob went to his uncle Laban, the same thing repeated itself. Remember, he took the birthright of Esau. The pattern continues. He went ahead and took the blessings of Esau. And now this thing, the pattern, the same pattern continued. When he went to Laban, the Bible says very well that. And, La and Jacob loved Rachel, the daughter of Laban, his uncle. And when he loved Rachel, he said they, there was an agreement between them that he will work for a certain period of time so that he could marry Rachel. And after Jacob had worked for seven years, the Bible says very well that instead of Laban giving his daughter Rachel to Jacob, Laban gave Leah. Leah was not Jacob's choice. But now see the pattern that has been there about deception and exchanging things. So when the, the time came for Jacob, and now also this thing happened, into, happened unto him, instead of Rachel, he was given Leah first. And so in the morning, after everything has happened during the night, between the husband and the wife, between Jacob and uh, Leah, and then Jacob realized that it was, it was Leah and not Rachel. And the Bible says that now he had to work for another seven good years so that Jacob could now have Rachel. 
And that is what happened. Then it did not end there. I want you to see how this pattern was working. The Bible said that when Jacob was tendering the ships of Laban, it came to a point they had an agreement because Jacob wanted to quit. And now Laban saw that since he started living with Jacob, the Lord blessed him. And he, 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 he told Jacob that let us agree. Tell me your wages. I want you to continue staying with me and tendering my sheep. And now Jacob said that now this will be my wages. All the speckled sheep will be mine. All the speckled animals will be mine. And they made agreement together. And Laban said, it's okay. And all the animals, all the sheep that had dots were to be given to Jacob. Those were his wages. <clears throat> but the Bible said that <clears throat> at night, Laban, after the agreement, Laban went ahead and removed all the sheep that had got spots. All the speckled sheep, Laban removed them and hid them and gave them to his sons. And so in the morning when Jacob came, he did not find the spot, the, the, the sheep with spots. The speckled sheep were nowhere to be seen. The, 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 the speckled animals were nowhere to be seen. The speckled livestock, they were nowhere to be seen. <clears throat> and so, and Laban planned for a journey and went for a journey. So he was nowhere to be questioned. And so Jacob knew that Laban had deceived him. Laban deceived Jacob. First of all, see this. Jacob deceived Esau and took the birthright. And Jacob again went and deceived and took the blessings of Esau. And now when it comes to the time of Jacob, Laban deceived Jacob and gave Jacob Leah instead of Rachel. And again, Laban deceived Jacob and took away and took away the, the speckled sheep, praise the name of the living God. And so, <clears throat> it didn't end there. And this, this, this is the main reason why, why I'm telling you that it is very, very wonderful to be very careful with the, a, a certain generational pattern because our pa generation have got patterns. There are some patterns that keep on repeating themselves. They happen in the life of your great grandparents. They are happening in the lives of your father. And you see, you start seeing them happening in your life. You need to break them. And so it did not end there. The Bible said that now, after that, the Lord helped Jacob and he had the speckled sheep afterwards. And then after that, when Jacob gave birth to Joseph, the Bible tells us very well that Joseph had got two sons. Ephraim and Manasseh. And when J Joseph had got these two sons, now after, we, we, after all that story and now the family had traveled to Egypt, Jacob and the, all the sons traveled to Egypt where J Joseph was. When it was time for Jacob to die, the same pattern, the same, same pattern that was there in great-grandparents' life now is, happen is coming to the grandchildren's. I want you to be very keen here. <clears throat> the Bible says that Jacob told Joseph, bring your sons so that I may bless them. And then Joseph brought forth the, the children. And Joseph brought forth Ephraim. And Ephraim was the oldest. And Manasseh. Praise the name of the living God. And the Bible says, when Joseph brought his children before his father, Jacob. Joseph placed the eldest son on the right side of the father. And Joseph placed the younger son on the left side of the father so that he could bless them. And the Bible say, when Jacob was praying for these children, these sons of Joseph and blessing them, he crossed his hands. Because Joseph had planned very well and placed the, the oldest son on the right side of the father's hand. And the youngest son was on the left side of the father. But when time of blessings and praying for these children came, Jacob crossed his hand so that his right hand was on the head of the youngest son. And the left hand was on the head of the eldest son. 
And somehow, Joseph was curious and asked the father, what are you trying to do? This is my, uh, my, 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 my first son. Your right hand should be on the, on the first son. And your left hand should be on the young son. But Jacob told him, I know what I'm doing. And so Jacob continued to bless them with his hands that were crossed. And the same, same pattern that happened repeated itself in the life of the children of Joseph, the grandchildren of Jacob. And so the Bible said that Jacob blessed the younger child of Joseph, although he blessed all of them. But the younger child of Joseph carried more blessings and was noticeable. And we see him being counted even among the 12 tribes of Israel. But the oldest son of Joseph is counted nowhere. So brothers and sisters, be very careful anytime you see a certain pattern repeating itself in your generation, in your family. You need to arise and break it. You need to arise and destroy it. You should not keep quiet because patterns are things that they will keep on repeating themselves. They are like curses. A pattern is like a curse. It will keep on repeating itself until somebody arises to break it and destroy it. We, we, we've seen many patterns repeating themselves in our families. A pattern will always stand and continue unless somebody arises and destroy it. If you destroy it, it won't continue. But if you leave it there, you see it and you ignore it, it will continue. The same pattern that worked in the life of Jacob and Esau came and worked in the life of Jacob and Laban, came and worked in the life of the children of Joseph, the, the grandchildren. And so anytime you notice something unusual in your life, anytime you notice something unusual in your family, in your bloodline, always be somebody who asks about the past. Know how your great-grandparents were, how, they, they are, how, how their lives were, what happened to them, what happened to your father. And now if you see something like that in your family, in your life also, you will be able to know that this is, this is a generation of curse or this is a generation of pattern so that you can be able to deal with it and you can be able to terminate it and you can be able to do away with it and the Lord will bless you. And the Lord will bless you. And so, be very careful. Be very careful. Be very careful and be watchful. God bless you. Once again, this is Angelica. Angelic, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time watching me, please subscribe, share this video, and let other people also be blessed. Thank you very much and God bless you.